Thank you for tuning in for episode four. This week, we are putting the wine down. Well, we're not really putting the wine down because I'm still drinking it, but my girl over here is putting the wine down, and we are taking a word on wellness today. I have my good friend Bree calling us from Thailand, so it is the morning. So good morning. Well, <laughs> it's 9.30 at p.m. here tonight. So, um, But before we get into Bree and all that she has going on, I cannot wait for her to share it with you guys. We are going to get into some bizarre news. Let's get it. Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. So I was like, what do I, what kind of bizarre news do I want to look up for Brie or whatever? I'm like, let me find some wellness stuff. And it was, it's funny, but it was like uh, giving me a little bit boring. So I was like, well, what's going on in Thailand? It's crazy stuff be happening in Thailand. And girl, did I find something? Okay. <laughs> they got a lizard that ran down on a 7-Eleven. And I'm not talking like, a little gecko or something that they have in Miami. I'm talking like a big ass, like this. And they said lizard, but this is like Komodo dragon. You know, I feel like people know what Komodo dragons are. So, like, picture a Komodo dragon. That's what this shit looks like. It is just chilling on top of the toilet paper next to the cooler. Like, imagine you now, you know, in New York, you walk into bodegas and you see cat. No, 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 no. They got a fucking lizard Stand, sitting on top of the cooler. It is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I just can't get over it. I don't know how you deal with those. You see these often? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. Yes, it's actually called a toke. So I don't really know what they do. I'm told to be their friends when I first moved here. I was like, all right, cool. Um, there's actually one that lives in my kitchen. It's probably like the size of my arm. Like, I'll see oh it sometimes. Oh, my God. Absolutely not. I'm not dealing with a toke when I'm trying to fry a chicken. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm just like, not. He's going to get fried up, too. <laughs> oh, hell no. No, 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 no. I'm out the kitchen. You can have that whole kitchen. So I don't cook as much as I used to because of it. And they make these sounds. Toke! Toke! So you can hear it. So when we be out in the woods and stuff, you hear that noise. It's like, where is it coming from? And it sounds like like a little man. And, and you so know how big it's gonna be? Nope, I just know to go the other uh, way. That's stay out the woods, yeah. please. Please stay, stay out, out my kitchen too. They they really just be yeah. everywhere. And I I know the video you're talking about. This that toke is probably the same size as me. I'm a whole five two, which is great. So hey, but that one right there that happens in like some of the islands and places because a lot of places have shut down and stuff and so lizards would normally eat like those kind of lizards would probably eat like some of the rubbish they'll leave out and stuff but there's nothing for these lizards to eat so they're like all right i'm going to get what i need yeah Um, i'm i'm all set i know i said i'm gonna come visit i'm rethinking that if i just (laughs) don't bring me no wood but before we move on to the next segment, I do got to tell you, I, I did find some very strange wellness news. And I just want to know if you've ever heard of it. Have you All ever right. heard of vabbing? A uh, what? Vabbing, like V-A-B-B-I-N-G. No? No. Nope. So apparently it's when women take their vaginal secretions and put it behind their ear as a form of perfume. And it's supposed to give off pheromones and attraction. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I ain't even gonna knock that because I just thought of Erica Badu. So you know that might be on to something. Cause she she's out here selling scents, y'all. So Making it's a, a lot thing. Of mm-hmm. It's a thing. Wow. So that's interesting. So I'm I'm so I, I maybe introduce it into your practice. Okay. You know. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> I don't know about so, that. Anyway, let's move on to our next segment. I want to know what is the word on the street with B New Wellness. We're going to go into word on the street. Okay. Right. I have a few questions for you. Nothing. No pressure. No pressure. You know, just <laughs> answer from the heart. Got gotcha. you. Because, because earlier we, we were like, do not ask me. And I was like, you know what? I ain't going to ask you nothing crazy because, you know, me and Bree, we go back to college and I ain't going to lie, y'all. Me and Bree got some crazy days and that's just all we're going to say. That's where we're going to leave it. Just it like that. I, hold up. we just going to put out there for anybody. If you knew me back in college, and if I ever have kids, you better not tell them nothing. You better keep your whole mouth shut. Mind your business. Same, Mind your business. We're going to start at 30 plus. You can tell them all that stuff. So, yeah, we yeah. been friends. 
Wow. Oh, before I was even a teenager. Wow. Well, I mean, before I was legal. Never mind. We're going to yeah. keep it going. <laughs> and we're both from Massachusetts. Both from Massachusetts. Yes. So we instantly connected when I got to Pace. We was in New York all alone. Two uh-huh. Massachusetts girls, but Bree from Boston. I'm yep. from Springfield. Both deuces. So, you know, life's great. Just saying. Just saying. Yes. <laughs> so you moved to Bangkok, Thailand. No, I live in Chiang Mai. Okay. Sorry. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know my I don't know my I don't know my city. Um okay. So you moved to Thailand. So and you've just started this company called Be New Wellness. So tell tell us more about what what that is, what it means, what you do. All right. Well, for those of you that don't know, my name is Brianna. You know, my friends call me Bri. All that good stuff. Um, Be New Wellness is my my baby. Uh, for me, living abroad, I've I've been dealing with a lot of just grieving anxiety and depression and it has been difficult just being alone because I lived in Dubai prior so ever since you saw me I've been on a move I just been going and and you went to Texas first I did go to Texas too um with everything that's been happening with Black Lives Matters and um a lot of the stuff that I'm watching on on the media here like it hurt me because I'm not able to be as active as I normally would. Like, I remember we were out there protesting for Trayvon Martin. I remember we were protesting for DJ Henry. And I'm in a point where I I can't do anything. And I felt like I was starting to go back into this negative cycle that I have of just drinking away my feelings and just, like, ignoring my body. And I see so many women around me are doing the same because it's like, what can we do? Y'all don't listen to us anyways. It's like, we have to see these egregious um, acts every day and living abroad. I'm also in a place where I'm not about, I don't, I'm not in a position to say what's going on here, to say what's going on anywhere. And so with the new wellness, I realized that I needed, I needed a community to make sure that I can be my authentic self, whether that is me crying because I can't gain five pounds or me just being angry that again, I open my screen and I open social media and black, 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 black man, child, woman killed. So, like it, it has been a lot. So I wanted to create a space where women could be safe. My mission is to empower women to become more mentally, physically and spiritually fit so they can fall more in love with themselves daily. And I realize we need that. And the name actually comes from the Egyptian Bennu bird. So the Bennu bird is the equivalent to the phoenix. And this bird can only destroy itself. And I feel like with women, we truly destroy ourselves. It all starts in the mind because we are constantly trying to hold everybody else down. And we're ignoring our own emotions, our own, like our own grievances whatever it is we don't have an outlet so i feel yeah. like even when i was over here i'm looking at a lot of workout stuff it's only twerk this booty popping i don't want to pop my booty y'all <laughs> like it's it's just been growing i ain't trying to pop it for me to lose it like i i just mm-hmm. finally got over here so it's like nah i want i want women of different ages to feel comfortable in a, in a space so mm-hmm. for me i go through like different mental activities, words of affirmations. We do journaling. I'm huge on podcasts because I know it starts within. If you do not start training your mind, of course, your body is not going to receive anything that is going on. And so I use Tabata, yoga, mindful meditation. I also do self-defense, kickboxing, so many different avenues because I feel that I want you to come to this space and find what works for you. I want you to be your best self. Not what Susie over there is doing, like, oh, I got to have me a six pack because she do. No, I want for women to stop comparing each other instead and just collaborate and build with one another. So with all of my different fitness uh, routines, I feel that it has been exciting and it has been a breath of fresh air for me because I no longer feel as angry as I did a few months ago. Like I told you before, I stopped drinking 
for me, I know that I do not have a healthy relationship with alcohol. I don't drink. Mm. I don't drink more than I needed to before I hit 21. Y'all were there. So it's like, I, I'm, I'm okay now. I don't, I don't need that now because I see yeah. what I was using it for. So with cool. being new wellness, it's just creating a tribe yeah. where you can see where a lot of these things are coming from. Because I don't think we sit down and we just break down emotions or we just yeah. talk about it real stuff like i'm not yeah. trying to talk about the reality tv i don't know that what book are you reading what and em- what empowers you what inspires you those are the conversations that i want to have because the happier yeah. you are with yourself the more that you will be able to give to others so yeah i love it, I love it. so so tell people what you have coming up for may for being well oh. how they can become a part of this all right, so I have my upcoming 90 day better naked challenge. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want to look better naked? I'm just saying. So <laughs> in this, as I said, it will be 90 days and we'll be going over some of the same things that I just talked about as far as affirmations, just building a morning routine, building a better relationship with your body. And I plan to do so by understanding what your body needs. Because I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, just go on a diet. No, no, no. I don't, we're not going on a diet. As my father would say, we're going on a live it. So I'm going yes. to teach nutritional Father. things to help Father. you. You better not. <laughs> we're going to keep it moving. <laughs> Anyways. So that is like the goal to educate you so that you can have lifelong skills. So after these 90 days, you can still implement the workout routines. I'll be going over breathing exercises. We'll be going over some actual self-defense because I feel like women need that. I don't know what's going on in America. I'm not even trying to come back there just yet because I really don't understand the state of it. And I might have to get my license to carry. So I'm going to stay right here for now. Um, I'm about to get mine because it's getting crazy in Springfield lately. You see. And so with that, it's like, with this Better Naked Challenge, we're going to be working out. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I'm going to let you know, some of my previous clients say they don't understand where my energy comes from because I always got energy. You know, I'm up mm-hmm. early. We mm-hmm. are out here. I want my clients to have the same energy. So okay. that, it will be an adventure. I don't want to give too much because you got to come. Okay, yes. They got to come to you. They got to come to you and, you and, and change their life. For real. And be new. You feel it. Hey. So you brought up a good point. You said, what are we reading? So so let's move on to uh, the weekly watch list, which is one of my favorite segments because I like to consume a lot of things within a week. I do podcasts. I watch TV. I read books. So what have, what are, you know, two or three things that you've been reading or watching this week? All right. So I am reading Ali's book. Like I'm really into just boxing right now for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, So Muhammad Ali's um, autobiography has been great. I am also reading, this might sound not too fun, but (laughs) I'm reading my yoga teacher training manual um, so that I can get over my test anxiety and take my exam so I could be a certified yoga teacher. That's going to happen within the next Come few weeks. Come on, certified. We love a good certified. Yes. And I would have to say, I was watching New Girl, and I'm so sad. Like, I, I only can watch, like, little fluffy stuff now. Because <laughs> um, I've been, I I've been realizing girl. I need a change. Yeah, with New Girl, I was all with it. Jess and I, we was riding, and then it ended, and I'm like... Now I don't know what to watch. So what are you watching? I started Shadow and Bone on Netflix. It just came out this week. I love me a good paranormal. Um, I'm always been into like what's not totally real, you know. So um, I like to live in fantasy. But um, yeah, that's what I've been watching. That's what I've watched. I, that's the, I started it yesterday, and I'm I'm all invested. Okay, wait, because I watched that show last night too. That girl, I'm telling you now, she get on my nerves. The the sun summoner? She get on my nerves. She, you know, she gotta play that role of like, oh, I never knew I was this powerful and great. And then, and then the fact that she had like, I'm not gonna spoil nothing, but when you Wait, find yeah. out like why she didn't know is crazy. It always got to do with a man. It always got to do with a man. You it see? always got to do with a man. <laughs> and with that being said, we gonna move on to our last segment of the night. 
And we are going to go into Waste Her Time. Now, tonight, with us focusing on women and Be New Wellness, I wanted to make it about the ladies tonight. I wanted to hear from the women. So I have my friend Ashley. We're about to give her a call because she wants to share with us not only a time that she had her time wasted, which most women Hello. We are Hello, Ashley. Hi. Thanks for having me. So I'm just letting the people know that, you know, you're going to let us know about a time that you had your time wasted and then also a time that you have wasted somebody's time. So we want to hear it from both spectrums. I know. I'm thinking about it. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm going back, right? So (laughs) (laughs) I was in my 20s. I was dating a guy for like three years, two years. Mm. One year and six months. Your prime. I had like four boyfriends at the same time, wasting everybody's time, you know, because I was going through my own shit when you boil yeah. it down, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's lessons. And then when I think about a time where my time has been wasted, I spent probably like five years with somebody who just like had a whole double life it was just like sociopath level (laughs) you know what i mean my worst year i just asked them i'm not gonna lie i asked somebody i was like you sure you don't got a girlfriend and they was like why you ask me this because because men do that and i don't know how they do it i can't do that can you do that could you have done your wasting your time to that degree that that person did it no because it would have to be like living two totally separate separate lives you know just mm-hmm. like being able to compartmentalize different worlds you know what I mean so it's not even being like your real self how did you find level. out I have to know how did you find out like how, how did how did the truth my come gut out? Uh, I thought about that too my gut so always mm. follow your intuition like something something hit me wrong after so many lies and stuff something just hit my stomach wrong and I was like you know what uh, I think I just caught you in a lie and I I don't have time anymore I'm done and once yeah. you flipped that switch for me I was like eh, you know what I mean now yeah. it's on a path of healing you know and it's not even Amen. wasted time when I think about it because mm-hmm. it's always like a lesson that I yeah. really needed to come back to myself, you know? So Amen. But thank well, you for the Ashley, opportunity you to be able to go in. back yes. and think about these things, you know, yes. and like reflect on them. I love doing that. So Yes. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing with us and being vulnerable. Thank you so much for calling in. It's Three. good for my Scorpio moon. We're yes. so afraid of vulnerability. Yeah. So here I am. We're not even getting into Scorpios, but Bree, thank you so much yeah. for calling in. <laughs> All right, I love you. I love in. you guys. Love you too. Yeah. Love you. Thanks. Uh, Bree, Bye. before we go, I want you to let the people know where to find you and, you know, how to get in touch with you. And just thank you guys for tuning in. Next week, uh, I got something good for Cinco de Mayo. Yo. Okay, we're switching it up a little bit. So make sure you guys tune in next week. Three, let the people know where to find you. Boom. All right. So you can find me on Instagram at B New Wellness. So that's B E N U. I'm sure you can see it right there. Wellness for all things motivation, inspiration, education. If you're like, hey, I need a virtual uh you know, I need a virtual coach. I'm trying to get these games real quick. You can email me at missbnewwellness at gmail.com. Let's get it popping. Let's go. Because I'm about to miss that in the big booty. M-S or M-S? M-S. Got it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a good night. You have a great day. Well, night, you're right. <laughs>